All right, folks. Well, it's Alan Rubel again, coming back at you from Ozark Mountain Outdoor Adventures. What do we have here today? Well, it looks like we have a tabletop review. Uh, I don't know if you, for all of our new subscribers, if you have been uh, tuning in to see that a while back we lost a couple trail cams over this last uh, season and really has forced us to look for a budget trail cam to replace that. Uh, here a few weeks ago, me and Rocky went and got this Tasco 6 uh, megapixel uh, trail cam. And I know you, what you're thinking, Tasco, I know, because that's what I was thinking. Uh, but really, this was 2444, I believe. Um, and with, we got the same battery pack, 8, eight uh, AA batteries, 8 gigabyte memory card for 1288 at our local Walmart. Basically, I think I got this set up for within 40, 45 bucks, something like that. Uh, and have not uh, got the results yet of our first. It's been in the woods for three weeks. Haven't got a chance to look at the, uh, uh, the quality of the pictures. Uh, but that was our first budget trail cam that we went to. Uh, on this one, we kind of doubled up. It's the Tierra 10 uh, Wildlife Innovations. Uh, we're going to be putting that out in DeMarc Twain National Forest tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be putting it over some healthy herd wildlife, nutrition, uh, mineral supplements. But hopefully, uh, this was 46, also the same battery pack, so a little bit more expensive camera, a little better quality. I mean, not just a little bit better. I mean, we all know ta what Tasco is. You know, they make some good products, but but basically, if you're getting a Tasco, you're getting a cheap, a cheap budget, inexpensive product. Um, so I'm just going to bust this out of the box. Try not to bust Rocky's box too bad. But we're going to pull it. Just take a little bit closer look at it. So like I said, it's 10 megapixels. Uh, basically 60 foot. 60 foot flash range. Wildlife. Uh, wild game can innovations. Pretty nice looking cam, really. Basic, uh, you got your little bungee, so it's not it's not your uh, normal strap that I that I'm used to. I really like Moultrie. Unfortunately, Moultrie, we cannot find a budget camera decent enough to purchase. Man, as far as the budget's concerned, little camera. You know, like I said, we got had two cameras stolen uh, this last year. So hopefully, one thing that sticks out on those trees uh, is is the strap itself. So if you have a black strap uh, on, on the back of the bark, I mean, it really stands out. So hopefully, this one won't get uh, won't get uh, taken from the from the woods. Um, but stay tuned with us. We're going to continue to do these budget trail cam uh, reviews. Uh, we'll be starting to, to integrate trail cam photos. Uh, we're doing this coincidingly with uh, kind of a Pepsi challenge between Healthy Herd and some of the big name brand um, mineral licks. Actually, they're mainly salt lick deer attractants. We're seeing how they compare to, to some of these uh, attractants. And Healthy Herd is basically wanting to, to, to strengthen the quality of the deer herd but so this is a little bit of an introduction uh, to to just some of these budget trail cam reviews we're getting into there's still a lot of time between next season when it gets here in September for Southwest Missouri uh, so plenty of time to, to get this review in and uh, really uh, you know get some detail on on just how well these trail cameras perform. I, I know that I'm going to have to purchase probably two more trail cams. Um, you know, I'm, I'm down to one. It's already on a tree and I got this Tasco, which, you know, it, it, it isn't, a, it isn't, isn't nothing to write home about for sure. But, uh, I think it's got, you know, it's only the, the one I got for 24 bucks is only six megapixels. Uh, it's got 50 foot flash range. Uh, so I was a little bit concerned about the IR um, 
rain, uh, IR flash, but it does have it. It does not say it on the packaging, so I got a little bit of a freak out attack on that. But it does say it within the uh, the instruction manual that there is IR flash. Um, but again, do your own. All we're all all we're doing here is trying to give you a little bit of information on how this performs. Uh, we're not trying to to sway your decision at all. It's just trying to help you make an inform an informed decision on a budget trail camera. Because uh, if you're like me, I'm a I work 40 hours a week. I'm a you know I'm paycheck to paycheck, but I love getting out in the woods. So. Anyway, uh, I hope you stay with us. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook. Again, I want to uh, thank all of our new subscribers if you're just tuning in with us. Uh, we're pretty kooky uh, on this channel, so if you haven't been watching very long, you'll, you'll soon find that out. But I'm going to be doing a trip here to uh, Mark Twain National Forest, getting back out there, exploring Mark Twain. I'm going to be putting up these trail cams tomorrow. Um, so you'll probably see some more videos coming back at you uh, with, some, with some more footage of that. So stay tuned with us.